Fa fa fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, fantastic. If you're watching, yeah. watch to the end and this is fantastic. 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 Yeah, fantastic. 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 Yeah. You're fantastic. 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 Marvelous. Marvelous. Four days, guys, you are still working here, Vira Medin. We are thanks God for everything and for anything. Yes, God number one who make us to be here, guys, and you are number two to make us to be here. God number one, you are <laughs> number two to make our to make our morale every day to make morale call it morale English full energy. Yes, my friend. Okay. Something like this. Okay. So guys. You are still do this and as you can see, already we are do a lot of things here. This is our, our foundation. After Hardico, after Gabion, now we are adding here foundation with with the, with, the, with what? With the concrete. With the concrete. So guys, yeah. thank you guys. We really appreciate. God bless you. Ab Bandatri. So, Mr. Kudu, you mean, you mean? So, guys, no problem, no problem. I'm a cameraman. Big fishing, I'm a cameraman. So, no problem. Mara kama ichini de kani no mudo. Fa fa fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, fantastic. If you're watching, yeah. watch to the end and this is fantastic. 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 Yeah, fantastic. 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 Yeah. You're fantastic. 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 Marvelous. Marvelous. <laughs> yeah, guys. So, guys, no problem. English is a come like you. Yeah. I'm I'm sweating, man. I'm sweating crazy. Me here, I'm a mixer. Yeah? Yes. I'm a mixer. A mixer machine, but this is a divine intelligent machine. Me, I, I mix. I left for the people to carry. They finish. The remaining I take down again with the cement. No, no pain, no pain. No pain. <laughs> <laughs> Hello beautiful people, welcome back, it's underscore Gintu. Today we are here tackling some of the matters that are going to be affecting us in terms of fish farming and to this place. And today we are standing on top of the, the flying beam fish pond at this segment. And also guys, we can just remember this other uh, day that uh, we started making sure that this fish pond is very clean as possible. And to this position, that's why you can even see it, it's very, very clean and uh, very whitish.
we have tiles here and uh, we washed that day and also things are now making uh, shape onto this place and water now is uh, very full up to the brim and also guys uh, we can be talking about uh, whenever we have uh, um, algae concentration onto this uh, fish pond here we're gonna be having uh, such kind of a challenge because uh, Amara has not yet stocked here a filter pump or uh, we can talk about filters onto this place uh, so as we can even regulate water and oxygen concentration but uh, he is always relying on uh, the manual operation whereby he always talk about uh, whenever we lie with the chem uh, mechanical like uh, are we having the machine sometimes they can fail whatever if they fail we don't have the oxygen concentration of the water all the filters uh, whenever we don't have uh, the mechanical problem we can just uh, have a problem in terms of sorting out such kind of uh, the uh, algae concentration at to this position and also you can just remember he has also stocked there which is called a copper wire which is sometimes affecting uh, uh, it lowers the oxygen concentration and to the water level so as we don't have the algae concentration and to the water but from right now here we have to regulate water inlet and outlet so as we can even have that kind of a position of withstanding the water concentration and oxygen concentration occurring unto this position and also guys we have affection over we having the trees here they are so releasing the leaves which are now uh, we can talk about the drying leaves and also uh, the ripened leaves like the yellow ones and everything like that even you can now see as to this position here we have a high concentration of the leaves that have fallen from the trees and they're now affecting water sometimes you can find that this kind of the trees are somehow uh, uh, toxic to uh, any kind of a corrosion or uh, whenever they fall into water they can just harm or bring some chaos or some uh, particles or substances that might be affecting the water uh, concentration and turbidity into this position and whenever we have some feeds like right now here we have thrown here some feeds sometimes you can have a challenge of uh, uh, this uh, fish cannot finish such kind of uh, uh, talk about the feeds uh, because of uh, sometimes you have miscellaneous effect where we can talk about uh, we have a high too high uh, coldness of water or uh, we have water pH is not relevant for them so they cannot the uptake of the feed sometimes goes a uh, low a little bit so they cannot uh, take uh, the whole of uh, the feeds that have been uh, subjected to them so as they can just feed on and also guys whenever we talk about sunlight and also for we have a chlorophyll and photosynthesis occurring unto this position we have sun it's just leading unto the water right now so it brings what is called photosynthesis and also chlorophyll unto this position so unto this area now we shall be having phytoplankton and zooplankton are just being uh, getting or growing out from this uh, fish pond here that's why sometimes you are affected with uh, the algae but for the young ones of uh, the tilapia they like mostly they like algae concentration onto the water and they can just take it as far as we want to uh, whenever we talk about the concentration of uh, the algae and to this position sometimes we have the young ones which are the fries and also we have uh, the fingerlings which also grow out to become the big fish they like uh, algae concentration because it has more of the relevant uh, talk about uh, relevant nutrients uh, that will favor them because uh, they are, uh, whenever we talk about uh, algae it has a, a balanced diet and whenever they take it even if you throw here some feeds they're gonna feed on it what about tomorrow or tomorrow but one whenever i might not be around this place so they have to make sure that we have algae concentration and that area should just be subjected with some of uh, the uh, plants that uh, have been subjected unto the water all such kind of grasses like nepia grass or uh, kikuyu grass we call them unto this area so it will now uh, help in terms of feeding protocols uh, unto this fish pond here so from two to three days coming we shall be uh, observing uh, such kind of the algae concentration at the pond very soon because it wanna be coming out and that's why i regularly wash the pond so as uh, we don't have such kind of um fixtures uh, to the Pond. so guys i keep it in touch i want to be um, making sure that everything is coming out clearly from this area and you can just remember guys we are from far 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 very far as my audience and which i whenever we started this fish pond how it was and how it is right now but the second and the third fish pond are not yet embarked to uh, fully reinforcement of uh, the construction but uh, we have people are just here the top masons are you gonna hear so you're gonna be talking to them whenever they finish uh making sure that uh, the perimeter wall alongside the river it's uh, well uh, 
uh, constructed, they're going to be uh, subjected to another task, which is maybe the second fish pond. So as we want to rear the ornamental fish, and we get them out from this position once and for all. So guys, uh, keep it in touch, keep in subscribing, like, share, comment. So as we groove together as a team, tomorrow always uh, we are at the top. It's one-on-one -on -one live conversation from the Villa Menjin and the fish farming area. I'm the fish father. For today, we're going to be having even uh, cooking for the people who are just uh, ongoing with the construction at the, um, we talk about the river there because of uh, the collapsing of uh, the wall. So we're going to be cooking for them the luncheon, which is very heavy. So as uh, whenever people are subjected to food, that's what is commonly. And to this area, we subject them to food. They're going to be working very very good and they want to not be very tired for the breakfast sometimes we are allowing some people to come with their own breakfast but lunch is already provided unto this area so the guys that's how things are moving outside unto this fish farming zone and keep it watching things are coming more lit and more lit noted everything is more possible keep it locked keep it coming and this is the beginning hello beautiful people Welcome back. It's underscore Gintu. Back again to the roots. It's one on one live conversation from this ground of I am Marwa Bilamanjin. And today we are the fish farm. Fish farm, I'm here. And today we're going to be tackling some of the issues that I want to be affecting and also want to be having a little trouble here in terms of fish farming and to this side. So, if you can just see, water is full up to the brim until that far end and also i'm just trying to remove uh, uh, such kind of uh, leaves and also i'm gonna be st stocking here uh, it's called um uh predator net and also it will uh, a little bit uh, help in terms of um uh, you see we have some trees here all over this area it's green which is uh we are always encouraging an ecosystem which is green nature always and and to this position guys uh, if we know, wanna uh, install here such kind of a net, it wanna help us in terms of uh, uh, having to control such kind of leaves, not falling every time. So it won't, it wanna be co corroding water sometimes because uh, some leaves here are uh, a little bit some will have some uh, might have some toxic substances that might be. Uh, Toxifying such kind of a if you can even see at this position these are leaves that was here so you can even see the color so it means that whenever it's drop it drops onto the water level so it might corrode the water that's uh, onto the fish pond so we want to be stocking such kind of a net here so as we can control such kind of toxic substances that might be affecting the fish farm onto this position and also water is full guys until that far and even you can now see the real the real 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 now fish pond now it's uh coming to a look right now here and uh, from uh, my observation here i want to be having to clean the fish pond first even the small ones are here very many small ones now we have more than three thousand small uh, fingerlings and also the fries that are also uh, coming out to be more big fish we have more than 3,000 guys and even more than 3,000 because we are doing approximation because um, let me talk this way guys whenever we stocked here some fish which are tilapia fish uh, as far as they are breeding fishes and to this position we cannot uh, know how to control the breeding because uh, we want them to multiply because uh, this volume of water is very large and even the outer side area here which is a uh, 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 a swimming pond it has more of water concentration and to this part because this is where the source of water is coming from so from this point it means that uh, we have a lot of water concentration and to this area so to control this water we have uh, to make sure that uh, the outlet and uh, which is that uh, the inflow and outflow of water is regulated and everything gonna be very punctual the outer side area here even the leaves you can even see this so i'm trying to make sure that uh, i'm doing thorough cleanness so as uh, we don't have affections from this point wow 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 
So I want to go to this small pond here so as a, I can clean but we have a, a place where we always step. It's here guys. We step here so as you can even uh, walk around the pond here and do all the cleanness around this area. Wow. Fantastic. This is pond cleaning guys from this position here. And that's how the work is ongoing from this Villa Menjin. Wow. Wow. Look at our, it's called arrow roots, guys. The arrow roots here are very, very, very. You can talk about they are so healthy and uh, there's nothing bad with them here so it's just cleaning and we have our it's called uh an uh what's the name of that it's uh it is called uh, an island it's here guys fantastic wow this place is very deep i was about to dip myself inside here very deep <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow. wow today is pond cleaning which is a, a flying beam pond cleaning and this is how we clean such kind of the ponds so as a we control everything like uh you can just talk about uh we have leaves here we have uh, sticks falling because of the trees even you can now see this tree here it has more of the ripe uh, leaves so it has such kind of miscellaneous effect onto this pond wow. we have to control it so this is our island guys so it has uh, arrow roots here it has a palm it has a palm here so that's how things are running from this segment guys and that's how we do the cleanness of the highest level so I want to step onto our island here a little bit then make sure that uh, everything is taken in consideration. Wow. Wow. Then we have a barrier of Mexico to USA. Guys, we have a barrier here. That's of this, this is Mexico, this is USA. You have a barrier here. So you'll get some fish going to the other place and some at this place. But mostly... This area, guys, uh, is high concentration of water. Even you can now see what is very, very clean into this segment. So this section here, it's a little bit. So this is where uh, more of the fish are hatched and this far end because it has a, a low concentration of water. And here we have a high concentration of water. Okay. Even trees, we have them, the logs of trees here. Okay. Can even see this tree guys it has very many yellow yellow leaves so this is what is affecting us mostly and to this position wow now the fish pond is full i cannot even dip myself inside here because uh, i can just i can i can go in a whole, a whole of me wow fantastic let me check how things are running into this position it's an enjoyment day guys just removing some of uh, the leaves very enjoyable very enjoyable ah. you can see even some sticks are in So after we finish everything guys here 
Uh, now it's our feeding time, so we're gonna be feeding the fish right now. And we have the feed fish are here. Wow, one. So we have to feed the fish. Here we have the small ones. They're gonna be using my hand. Wow. Then under this position we have the small ones here. Every section guy should reach with the with the feeds because here we have a high concentration of uh, the fish which are the small, the young ones they are very high wow now we have the fish coming to eat the fish wow they are here so they are now enjoying because of uh, the volume of water such kind of uh, 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 now the volume of water is high they can even enjoy this is what we want to embrace guys on to this position because uh, uh, from this position here we're going to be having wow this section fantastic we have more of uh, the fish here highly concentrated guys because uh, we need to embrace that uh, fish should be grown here fully and uh, whenever it reaches a time of harvesting we shall be giving you more of the update on how things gonna be moving from this segment one on one so this is a one-on-one -on -one conversation and this is gonna be the cleaning of the pond which is the removal of uh, the leaves which is uh, the tree leaves and uh, whenever we finish that one now we go on uh, with uh, a little bit segregating water and uh, to this uh, fish pond here i want to be showing you everything how things gonna be moving from this segment keep it watching keep it locked so guys uh, come back and to this position here we want to be tackling some of the matters that being affecting so i want to make sure that uh, this uh, outlet pipe is more fixed onto this area with this kind of a net we have such kind of a mosquito net this one guy so this is very perfect in terms of fish pond whenever you have any fish pond this kind of a net maybe you can just purchase if uh, the government gonna be having such kind of a net these are mosquito nets so it's very perfect whenever you have a fish pond and it wanna regulate more over the like a uh, small fish not to pass uh, through the outlets and something like that that's why even our fish ponds there during uh, uh, the construction we always uh, use this kind of a net to make sure that things are very very good whenever you are stocking so I wanna just tie it onto this outlet here so as I make sure that this water gonna be be going out because it's now full and you can even see at this position water is flowing out so i want to be regulating that because we have so much intake of water coming in onto this fish pond so i want to regulate it a little bit via opening this uh, because the other day guys you can just remember i opened everything so as water can accommodate or acknowledge or come up so and to this area so by now i want to be now subjecting it uh, some to go out and some to retain onto the fish pond so that's why i wanted to minimize water concentration onto this uh, fish pond here so via the use of this net i want to be tying it here so i have to step down onto the second fish pond first wow. so i want to hang here so it's a uh, very tireful this way so this is the only po position you can just reallocate yourself so as you can get a position of tying it let me see why it's more perfect from this side here So guys, it's a very tiresome st stuff here to tie it here because uh, you cannot tie it uh, whenever you are in that pond. So I know now it's good to go. So let me now show you. Now it's very fantastic guys. 
Thank you very much. Introduce Please yourself. Uh, my name is It's Magare. It's Magare. You can also, uh, if, you are watching, if you are watching the video, you can also visit the channel It's Magare. Thank you very Magare, much. Magare, M-A-G-A-R-E. Subscribe there. Big up. Thank you very much. So it was a uh, support Magare, guys. And here, yeah, you can now see water is very, very clean at this position. And uh, today I'm going to not be opening this pipe here, which is uh, the main outlet. So I'm going to be opening this one, so as it can regulate water that's uh, onto this fish pond and make sure that things are more relevant from this area. So water is now full, even you can now see onto this area, very clean. Very, very clean. Fantastic. So guys, I want to be now picking such kind of... Uh, we have some uh, leaves here. So I want to be making sure that uh, this pond is more clean. Wow. It has uh, some of uh, the plants. Make sure that everything is more possible guys fantastic you can you can just think that uh, it's a waterfall guys more water we're coming out with more force it's like a hey, hey it has a speed like safari rally guys hey, hey this is one on one live conversation guys from the ground wow, wow. make sure that this pond is now clean uh, even we have earthworms here. Look at this. We have earthworms here. Wow. So whenever, guys, uh, it was uh, a little bit left behind, we have such kind of uh, miscellaneous challenges like uh, plants uh, growing in. And that's how it... Oh, this one, guys. Guys, who knows this plant? Wow, it's a pigweed in Kenya. The same one, like... Uh, Ayamaro was talking about uh, the Jamaican uncle was cooking. I don't know the name. I don't recall the name, guys, because it was in Jamaican language. Here we call it Muchicha. Wow. We have the red Muchicha and the white one, which is the pigweed. Wow. name of this grass even if you subject it into water it cannot dry it cannot eh, wilt so it's a water plant this is where we have barrels guys whenever now we stock here some fish this is where they're gonna be coming and hiding here like these pots here so whenever they want to lay eggs they want to be subjecting themselves and to inside such kind of the barrels so they can lay eggs and do something and hatch there. So we like that moment. So that's why we are using such kind of a cement bag. For the people who are just talking about uh, looking like a ditch. No, 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 no. This is the technology we want to embrace because uh, uh, we don't have to cover everywhere. So as we can have uh, water, uh, not more so cold because we have uh, down here, it's uh, a soil subjected. The ground is a soil. So it's not yet covered with any hardcore or something like uh, cement and anything like that. So whenever we see this kind of the cement bags bulked at this position here, it's to provide fast to filter water coming in whenever we have water. It's everywhere, guys. It can filter water coming in and also it creates burrows which are, are more relevant for the fish whenever they want to hatch and something like that. Whenever it's spawning time of the fish, they like such kind of a places because uh, Sometimes we have cement bulk that they uh, segmented alongside the fish pond so they want to be looking for a place where they can even dig a little bit a hole for the female to hatch and also have uh, the fingerlings onto this position. So that's why we use the cement bags to make sure that it's uh, like a hanging beam onto this position because downwards it's cement bags to allow water inlet 
and the filter water coming in and also we shall be putting here some hard go that will now refrain this fish pond and look very very clean wait for that moment guys it's gonna be coming wow look at even this place here very fantastic wow. guys that's how we always uh, make our ponds from uh, this area so we want to rely with natural organic fish guys sometimes we talk about inorganic we shall be affected with uh, some miscellaneous substances or toxic substances that might be produced with uh, non-organic substances so the fish pond now is a little bit clean wagwan so what is now it's subjected out guys we have uh, this outlet pipe here we have another one at this position and we have this one which is now delivering water to the third fish pond inside here wow this is the third fish pond so and to this third fish pond i want to not affect anything like uh uh, removing such kind of uh, the leaves from here or uh, this kind of uh, the grass uh, subjected here because uh, we have some turtles here and uh, we have some tortoise guys uh, uh, excuse me a little because uh, we want to be even uh, having the turtles here so we have uh, uh, the tortoise here they can just remember the other video i showed you how we were cleaning it uh, but it was very stinky whenever you turn it upside down very stinky so and to this position that's why we shall be having more of uh, the tortoise and that's where the guy was swimming here guys if you can just remember that video and uh, everything is more possible so water is going in and it will now be full um like 30 minutes it will be full of water because the first fish pond has a high concentration of water so that's how we want to subject these uh, fish ponds and that's how things want to be moving so guys uh, keep it watching like share so as we can come across to know more about fish farming and wherever you are guys you can just contact me so as uh, we can make an arrangement i'm gonna reach to your position but to nairobi on tuesday i'm coming to nairobi on tuesday guys wherever you are from nairobi contact me i'll meet you wherever you are i want to be having more of the fun street food i want to see how people behave in nairobi it will be my first time now coming live one-on-one -on -one from nairobi people from nairobi keep it tuned tag just hashtag me to see how things are gonna be moving street food first i want to test the street food hey, hey, hey. the guinea force are now hungry i don't know what's the problem guys uh, that's how things are moving from this segment now it's a little bit clean so it takes a very short time for it to to be clean wow we have these grasses here i have to make sure that we minimize everything wow now they are subjected to light Wow, yeah, water is coming out like zero man. Wow. You can even guys uh, so, hey, hey. Wow. It's like a waterfall guys. Ah very fantastic. Very fantastic. You can even create here uh, something like uh we talk about uh a waterfall, Woo! very clean water. It's an enjoyment from this building. Wagwan, wherever you are, hey, hey, am I from the past? Oh, I'm there, I'm there. Wagwan, water is full. Oh, the guinea pigs are now coming here. They like this kind of uh, an environment. Guys, uh, keep it watching. The videos are coming day to day uploaded. It's one on one live from the Villa Menjin and the fish farm or fish farming zone. Keep it watching. Keep it vibing. Get more knowledge. Access everything. Noted. I want to subject myself again. Whenever you do your work, 
You get tired, subject yourself in water so as you can get a bike here. Wow, I like this. Wow, well, one guys, keep it watching. Things are coming more lit. It's underscore into one on one live. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. It's underscore Gintu. Today I'm here with the fish pond here. I want to see how things are moving. We have very many small fish. I am matter wherever you are. Look at the fish here now. We have more than 3,000 fish. More than. Look at. Wow. Even the big ones are now coming here. We have very big ones. So I want to be waiting for them a little bit. These are the young ones here. There are so many, so many and uh, uh, scattered everywhere. Wow. Look at this. Look at this position here. We have very big fish alongside this area. Wow. So for the first time, guys, uh, whenever you want to see whatever we are stocking here, and uh, if you are making something correct from this position, today we're going to be seeing more of the fish we are adding to this position. Fantastic. Wow. This is how everything is running. We have even the small fish to this spot. This is where they are highly concentrated every time. Wow, the big fish are here now. Oh. Wow. This is how everything is running, guys. Wow, 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 wow. Look at the fish, guys. Look at the fish. Wow, they are now enjoying. Very colorful. For the first time, viewers who want to know how things are running into this position, we have more of uh, the ornamental fish and also we have... Uh, uh, we have the tilapia fish stocked here. You can even see them from uh, the underground water. We have uh, the koi cup, we have the guramis, we have the shobonkin. Every type of um, the fish that uh, you're gonna want to see the color and the shape. I have everything stocked here. So we can even uh, make uh, an arrangement whenever you are from Kenya, we can make an arrangement so as uh, we can help you to link about uh, having such kind of an aquarium or a pond, I can just uh, trace and give you more of the hint. So water is full, guys. Very, very full unto this position. And it's one of uh, the fantastic. The what I'm just supposed to get more in touch with is these small, uh, small young ones, which are called uh, the fingerlings. They are now very big enough. Wow. So even you can now see them, how they are. They are highly concentrated at this position. We have so many of them onto this fish pond here, guys. So we're going to be making sure that things are running very good onto this area. And we have more fish stocked here that will ever help us uh, to uh, get, uh, whenever it reaches one year, we shall be having more of uh, the fish uh, onto this area. And whenever it reaches now, it's picking and eating. It want to be very fantastic uh, coming out from this position. For the first time, whenever you are just viewing this video from wherever you are, it's going to be a very fantastic time ever possible. Wow. Even water is up to the brim. Wow. Look at the fish here. Look at the fish now. You want to stand at one position, then you can never see them. Chota Majia Fukuji. Hi. How are you? Never got hungry because there are many guavas that, that, that end. Where? Uh, uh, the base there. Somebody has brought the guavas? Yeah. Wow. Many of them. Guavas. And I'm also cooking ugalai. Today is cooking? Yeah. Oh, okay. I see some people are in construction. Timurindima. I have to cook for them. Exactly. Yeah. So you're going to be checking how things are running from that position. So uh, go turn and come back. i show you something. Yeah. Exactly. So where are the fish? Where are the fish? So guys, uh, the construction of the wall is undergoing because of um, uh, everyone has his own position. So I want to take care of the fish because uh, we have much water uh, unto this position right now. So I don't have to misuse uh, uh, this position unto this area because uh, we might find that uh, fish are uh, getting exploited a little bit. So we can never know. So I have to keep attention because we have more water concentration at this point. So I have to be very, very keen whenever now it comes to rainy season because you can even see this place. It's full of water until that far end. And that's how we want to make sure that things are running very unique unto this area so that's how things are going on wow the feeds are now floating on top of water and that's how we want uh, this position to be even this is area this where we have an island we have some arrow roots there very 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 talk about the very healthy we have uh, such kind of a small island here we have even uh, 
the same same we have uh, arrow roots positioned here and that's how things are running out of this position keep it in touch keep it locked things are coming more lit eh. the small ones here so many wow look at this there's so so many look at them wow <laughs>